Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited because I'm going to be bringing back my top 5 series. I do have a playlist on my channel and you can go check that out. I have a ton of my top 5 drugstore eyeshadow palettes and like bronzers for deep skin tones. I just have a ton and I stopped for a while, like I would say over a year now. But so many of you have requested um, some top 5 products that I really really like so I thought it would be a really good time to just bring it back because I don't know why I stopped. <laughs> Today's video is going to be on my top 5 drugstore concealers. I did do a top 5 concealer video ages ago and oh my god if you look at the video like I'm just like where's the lighting? <laughs> but anyway today's going to be my top 5 drugstore concealers. Um, if you want to see my top 5 high end concealers if you really do like this video then give it a thumbs up and if depending on the thumbs up and on your comments I will do a high, top 5 high end one for next week. I do also have quite dramatic makeup today. That's because I've been testing out some little products and just playing with my makeup and also practicing so it's not perfect. If you do want to see a tutorial on it let me know. I don't know if you would want to see something like this because it is quite dramatic and you know green and yellow you know. Know, it's a bit outside of my comfort zone but I think it looks kind of cool and I think it would be really nice if you're wearing like a green outfit for like a wedding party kind of thing or if you're going to carnival or festival I think it's really nice so let me know if you don't then that's totally fine I love it when you guys keep it real with me but without any further ado let's jump straight into this video <laughs> So the first one that I really have to mention is the Wet n Wild concealer. I did recently put a video about this concealer and I'll leave a link in the info box. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I have the shade Medium Deep Tan and I absolutely love this. If you want to know more about it, watch the review but it's one of my favourite drugstore ones at the moment, like at this moment in time. like. Is the one I reach for the most. The next one that I really really like is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I do have two shades, this is Honey and this is Nude. So when the shade Honey came out I was super super excited and I was just like oh my god they finally have a darker shade. When I got it I thought I'd love it and I don't know what happened, what was wrong with my eyes if I was in the dark I don't even know but it's not my favourite and I'm going to show you why. I do kind of regret buying the shade Honey because I just feel like it's not my colour, it's not for me. So this is Honey which looks pinky or really neutral and then this is my nude. I have mixed my nude with so many other concealers like darker concealers to make it a bit darker because it is quite light for me but now it's kind of become my perfect colour because I have mixed it with so many but just look at that like that is so neutrally kind of pinky and it's just not for my skin tone. I do use it every now and then but I do have to wear it with another concealer because honey is quite cool so I need to use an extra yellowy concealer. Would I repurchase it? I wouldn't. I would just stick to the nude and I really hope they come out with better colours because it is a really good concealer like I definitely recommend it and if you have your colour give it a try it's affordable. I don't know who decided to name this honey because this ain't honey for me. It's a shame though, like I really loved it in the beginning and then when I kind of wear it, wore it and swatched it more and kind of analysed it closely, I was just like this is so pink. But nevertheless it is a, still a good concealer, I just would just recommend nude or light because they are nice yellowy light ones. But if you're darker than me then you probably wouldn't be able to get your shade because they're just so light. But I do know in the States they have darker colours. So if you live in the States, go look out for some darker colours if you are darker than me. It's got good coverage, it lasts long. Creasing is not that bad but I just love the application and the coverage of it, it's really good. I just realised that the curtain was like misplaced in the back so I do apologise. So for this next concealer I need to have it in my top 5 because I use it. A lot and it is the LA Girl Pro HD concealer now I have three colors here so I do have three colors this is dark cocoa medium beige and toffee the one that I use the most is medium beige and this is only if I find that I'm tan and medium beige is too um, light so I mix toffee with it toffee is kind of like my skin color so this is toffee medium beige and dark cocoa obviously dark cocoa is only used for contouring but this is like my ultimate like LA girl shakes I get asked that question a lot so I am medium beige if you want a nice highlight under the eyes but if you don't want it then toffee would be like my skin tone I feel like the LA girl pro HD concealers are like your cult 
drugstore concealer and they're like really good quality i feel like la girl as a brand is really good like they have i have a ton of products from them and i just absolutely love them so i definitely recommend these concealers if you haven't tried them out because they're only like five pounds you can get them from beauty base or you can get them from beauty bay um i will leave links in the info box for all of these products by the way as always but yeah i just really really love these concealers um i'm still trying to learn how to cream contour with the darker one um it, it, i do kind of go a bit overboard but like the concealers are just perfect so I definitely recommend them. So next up one of my favourite drugstore concealers that I love to use is the NYX HD concealer. Um, I have the shade I think it's tan I don't even know. Oh yeah so this is the shade tan. The only bummer with this concealer is that it's too dark for me so that's what it looks like there. So this is kind of like my ideal concealer shade and this is what it looks like. It's kind of similar to Toffee and um, it's not really as highlighting. So what I do most of the time is mix it with a lighter concealer so I can have that highlighting effect. But the, the, the formula of this concealer is very like hydrating and lightweight and it actually sits really really nicely on the skin and I actually really like to just go over around my mouth area just to like kind of dim down the darkness and it actually conceals it really well without giving me ashy like an ashy mouth. I did want to get a lighter colour so I can mix it with it but the lighter one is so light and I keep putting it off but I will obviously eventually get the lighter one and I'll let you guys know if I find it helpful but just the formula is really really good so I definitely recommend it because it's really nice coverage. And now the last and final concealer which I use in most of my videos is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Golden. If you watch a lot of my videos you'll know that I use this mostly for my eyebrows and to carve out my eyebrows. The thing is with this concealer is that it's very full coverage but it's really dewy slash hydrating so it looks very shiny when you use it under the eyes and I find that it kind of creases because of that. So what I like to use for this is like for blemishes, um, like my pigmentation on the side or like my brows for instance. Like it's just a really good full coverage concealer if you're trying to cover like pigmentation or blemishes and scars and stuff because it, it, it works better on flat surfaces so if you try to put it in like areas where you have lines so under the eyes it does tend to crease a bit so that's why I wouldn't really recommend it for under the eyes but everywhere else it's perfect. My swatching is very very bad but this one here is the Wet n Wild concealer and this is the Gotcha Covered concealer. They're both very full coverage. So out of all of the concealers, the most full coverage ones that I have are the NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer which have a ton of shades so that is a good side to it and the Wet n Wild Concealer. So those are my top 5 concealers that I absolutely love and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope it helps you to find a good concealer out there because I kind of wish I had like videos out there like this that kind of shows products that have a good colour range and like good coverage and like you know the best ones for that person um, I do hope it helps you to find like a good concealer the only one that has a really bad colour range is obviously the Maybelline one but all the others are so good for like colour range so if you're darker than me or lighter you'll definitely be able to find your colour I do feel that the NYX one does a bit need a bit more improvement on colour range as well so just to put that out there. <laughs> Anyways thanks for watching this video I really really appreciate it and thank you for requesting this video I'm really glad that I have my top 5 series back. I'm just planning like all my other ones, my high end concealers, my drugstore highlighters and high end um, like bronzers. Even though I have done it in the past, like they kind of updated and I've always, I've obviously said that in my videos before, like obviously in time, like it will be updated because I've tried new products. So give this video a thumbs up if you did really like it, it will help me out to know if you did enjoy it. So I'll make sure to do more and I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>